what's up? I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. My name is Lynette. If you're new here, welcome. Also, if you're coming back, wonderful. Um, I have not done organization type videos in a little while, um, mainly because I haven't really been doing anything new around here. Um, but I did recently kind of reshuffle my under the sink cabinet in the kitchen. And also, I wanted to just do a little bit of a quick uh, tour of my refrigerator. I haven't done one in probably over a year, I'd say. It, that was one of my first videos I ever put out on YouTube. And so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys a little update and maybe it'll inspire you guys and help you in some way. So I thought I'd kind of put the two together and make a video out of it. Um, in the kitchen, I basically, I just kind of moved, I have like a KitchenAid mixer under the sink. And so I moved that thing to the other side. I don't know why I never did it before, but I moved it to the other side because I felt like that would make the most sense. And what I wanted was like a pull out drawer type of thing for my um, dishwasher tabs that I use. And also that would give me another level of um, like a, a level surface to put something on. So I ended up putting my Grove Collaborative um, bucket there with just some cleaning items that I use in the kitchen, my dish wand, and also um, like my method dish soap refill and whatnot. So this can kind of change around quite a bit. It won't necessarily stay like this, but uh, also, and then I put a little DIY Lazy Susan on the lower shelf. I'll still probably look for something uh, a little nicer, um, but for now this is working and I had kind of, I took this out of another cabinet, so I just have some extra kind of cleaning and well, like dishwasher rinse aid and some other type of cleaners and stuff. I'll just keep that there as well. And then also on the door, I just put a little thumbtack there. I really wanted to use like a command strip, um, but I didn't have any on hand and I was kind of wanting to, you know, hang it up. And so yeah, that is pretty much what it's looking like. I'm really excited about how it looks and it's kind of, it works for me for right now. So it's nothing fancy, but I hope that gives you guys a little bit of inspiration or something. So now let's move on into my fridge. So this is what our fridge looks like. I really like the style of it. Um, inside, it, this is kind of an overview, I guess. It's nice and spacious, so I really like it, and it was here when we moved in and everything. So I will just show you this side of the door. On the top, I generally keep like hot dogs and stuff, and then there's like syrups and crescent rolls, biscuits, whatnot. Um, this can kind of vary a little bit, but these are also all of, all like removable. And then on the other side, I keep my butter and like margarine sticks if there are some up top there. And this is like my miscellaneous um, container, I guess. It's just random different uh, sauces or garlic. There's Parmesan cheese, jelly and stuff. And then I kind of have my condiments in this one. Um, fairly self-explanatory. And then my dressings down on the bottom one. So yeah, that works out really well for me. And then moving into the bottom wide drawer, it's not very deep, which I wish were a little bit deeper, but um, I do like it. I generally keep like my meats, fresh meats and stuff, and overflow vegetables, as you can see there. I have uh, a ton of peppers right now. But anyways, <laughs> um, that being said, yeah, that, and then normally I have like tortillas and stuff in the bottom. It just kind of depends a little bit what we're currently eating, but that's generally what is in there. And then this top drawer here on the left I have fruit generally and I like to prep it if I can I just feel like it's easy to access and then I also I have those um, removable liners or whatever throughout most of the fridge not all of the shelves but that way I can take it out and wash it and then the middle drawer is usually for vegetables also I'm trying something with cilantro I had googled it trying to figure out what's the best way to keep it fresh and they said to put it in water and a baggie over top so we're trying it and then this jar I have all of my cheeses <laughs> cream cheese shredded cheese whatnot and you'll see that I have various different bins and stuff um, I have bread in the back basket I tend to keep my bread in the fridge because I feel like it keeps it longer we don't eat you know a ton and sometimes it keeps it better and then I also have a thing for yogurt that came from Dollar Tree just acts as like a pull-out drawer and second shelf is mostly for leftovers usually and the top shelf I have a Lazy Susan which is one of my favorite organizing products as you know if you've been watching me 
and that usually I just have different types of round containers that we're currently using and stuff and then the very back shelf I have eggs and then these two shelves are generally for drinks and milk and stuff the two on the left so down in the bottom I have like an upper smaller shelf that pulls out I've just got some shrimp and decaf instant right there along with like freezer packs in the middle one I have fruit smoothie makings frozen stuff and then also I have vegetables over here and these containers are both from Dollar Tree and it just helps kind of keep things contained in the bottom drawer I have two or actually three more containers from Dollar Tree and then on that side I have meat there in the back corner and then like ice cream and there's some waffles in the other container then on the right hand side I kind of have my potatoes and there's some bread and chicken nuggets this varies a little bit but generally that's kind of how it looks I try to keep things separate it just works a lot better for me so I hope you all enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching if you're new here I'd love to have you subscribe and join my channel also if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below give me some ideas or what you liked best and that kind of thing so thanks so much for watching guys I'll see you guys later Bye.